Hey guys, getting here, getting small engines. What a beautiful, beautiful summer, almost fall day. And I put out a little uh, thing on my community page where I was like, oh, lawnmower, push lawnmower 200 miles an hour, how can you do it? Well, believe it or not, most lawnmowers do run at about 200 plus miles per hour. Now, I'm not talking about pushing them 200 miles an hour, I'm talking about blade tip speed. A lot of people ask me, Kenny, how fast is my engine supposed to be running? Okay, now you look at most engines, small engines, they say maximum usually 3,600 RPM. That's what they're rated for, okay? Um, but you buy a piece of equipment, whatever the manufacturer tells you to make that RPM, that's what you really should do, okay? But I'm gonna show you where that magic number came from. And that magic number is 19,000 feet per minute. That is something developed by the US government. Now remember, this is something in the US I can't tell you what it is in Canada. I can't tell you what it is in uh, foreign countries, UK and all that stuff. I'm just telling you what it is in America. Well, there's a place in America, it's a standards uh, institute called ANSI, ANSI, American National Standards Institute. And basically, they have a bulletin called B71-1. And in B71-1, there is a section called 10.6 and 10.6 is all about blade speed. And I'm gonna tell you what it is and I'm gonna show you, I'll be right back. Okay, 10.6, blade speed. The maximum tip speed of any blade shall be 5,791 meters per minute, which is 19,000 feet per minute, except where guarding exists, offering 360 degree shielding within a quarter inch of the ground level. Well, I don't know any mowers that you're gonna run with the deck a quarter inch off the ground because you'll be scalping it. So basically, you know, 19,000 feet per minute is what the government, the American National Standards Institute and OPEI, ANSI, and the Outdoor Power Equipment Association say you're supposed to run. So I was curious and I looked up some information and found some old Tecumseh information about service, okay? And Tecumseh, in their literature, also calls out 19,000 feet per minute. And let me find it in this thing. This is about an old engine, 220 series, 250 series. Let me find where it is in here and I'm gonna show you. Okay, guys and gals, if you read right here, for rotary lawnmower safety, ANSI, the American, American National Standards Institute, standard safety specification for power lawnmower specify a maximum blade tip speed of, there it is, 19,000 feet per minute, 96.5 meters per second. That equates, guys, to 215 miles an hour. So if you look at blade tips that are running at the maximum recommended by the government of 19,000 feet per minute, that's 215 miles an hour. So just a little push mower, if it's at that feet per minute rate, if that's what the RPM is set for, that's what you're throwing out a golf ball or a rock or anything it comes in contact with. So pretty dangerous. All right, let's talk about what we have in a typical application. All right, so in America, most blades here are around 22 inches, okay? So if you take 22 inches times by pi divided by 12, that's 5.76 feet, okay, uh, of circumference, okay? So if you take 19,000 feet per minute divided by 5.76 feet, that mower should be run at 32.98. Well, you look at my friends like Bruce Pender and uh, Steve and, and all the guys out there who are running, say, 21, 22 inch blades. Yeah, they run about 3,300 RPM, and that's why that number makes sense. Say we were to use a 19 inch blade, all right? What should it be for a 19 inch blade? All right, pi times 19 divided by 12, all right? Comes out to 19,000 divided by that, 38.19. Well. Maximum engine RPM is 3,600. So you know what? Say you wanted to make it 3,600. I did the math for you. 3,600, they're telling you 3,819, which is about 0.89 of 3,600. So instead of being 215 miles an hour, if you run a 19 inch blade, all right, at 3,600 RPM, you're getting about 192 miles an hour, not the 215. Now here's where it gets kind of hairy. My friends over in the UK and some of my friends in Canada, I was talking to Steve and Bruce and some of my other friends over the, over the border there, they run mowers, especially in the UK, as low as 16 inches, okay? Now, I called up my good friend Mick, Mick's Mowers, the mower man. I said, Mick, 16-inch mowers, you guys use them over in the UK a lot. 
what do you run the RPM at on those mowers? All right. He said, eh, probably around 3,000. Well, let's see. If you do the math, to run it at the U.S. standard, say 19,000 feet per minute, you do the math, da, 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 da. Whoa, 4,535 RPM. You're not going to run an engine that much. Well, say you want to run it at 3,600, which is the maximum recommended engine, okay? Um, so I use 3,400 as a standard, okay? So 3,400, do the math. It's roughly 0.75 to get the 19,000, and it equals 14,250, all right? That's 161 miles an hour. Now, keep in mind, guys, you run an engine at 3,400 RPM. You got a 16-inch blade. That blade's tip speed is 161 miles an hour. It's still going to cut your grass, okay? It really is, all right? Now, like I said, this 19,000 feet per minute, yeah, that's a government specification. You can't go above that. But, as I said, read what it says in your service bulletins and the information that you get with your mower, okay? Yeah, 250 miles an hour sounds great, but you don't wanna tax your engine, you don't wanna tax your equipment. So I said to myself, self, I got a snapper mower with a 28 inch blade, okay? And I said, all right, I got a 28 inch blade. So let me see, circumference of my blade, 28 inch. Pi times D divided by 12, 7.33 feet is the circumference of a circle created by a 28 inch blade, all right? So if I do the math, all right, maximum, maximum feet per minute of 19,000 times one rev divided by 7.33 feet, which is a circumference, all right, my blade should be turning to equal that amount. My blade should be turning at 2592 RPM, okay? So I drew a little picture. Here's my snapper mower. Well, my snapper mower isn't directly connected to my engine, so I can't just put my engine at 2592. I have to look at the ratio. All right, I've got 3,600 on the motor. Say I have 3,600 on the motor and I want 2,592. Well, that means there's a 0.72 ratio. Now that's if the motor runs at 3,600. You need that type of a ratio. And what that equates to is I would need a 10 inch diameter pulley on the blade and a 7.12 inch diameter pulley on, I'm sorry, a 7.72, oh, where is it? 0.72, I'm sorry, 0.72, because it's a 0.72 ratio. But cut that in half. Say the pulley on my deck is a five inch pulley. That means the pulley on the motor would be half of, uh, half of the 7.2, so it'd be 3.6. And that's probably more like it, a smaller to a bigger. But that's what you gotta look at, guys. And you say to yourself, Kenny, how do you check the RPM on something like that? Well, if you notice, I drew a little dot on the blade. My next video is gonna show you tachometers all the different tachometers, how you use them from a VibraTac, which is a trace accelerometer that works off of vibration, to a strobe tac that uses these little white buttons, to all these digital techs that you see out there ranging anywhere from 20 bucks to 100 bucks. All right, that's gonna be in the next video. But I just wanted to show you guys that 19,000 feet per minute, it's a standard here. Now, here's something that's kind of funny. I went online and I found something that Tecumseh put out. Now, Terrell, he does his Tecumish product bulletins, and he always has those. And I found one from 1970. All right. It started out, where is it there? 1970. Let me see if I can make it bigger for you. There we go. Issued in May 1970, revised in June of 1995. And what this is, it is a service bulletin called, oh, service bulletin 107. Oh, hold on. I got people calling me, texting me. All right. Service Bulletin 107. Look it up, guys. This is a service bulletin where Tecumseh, now Tecumseh, my favorite engine, they used to use an R, uh, feet per minute rating, all right, of, get this. All right, hold on. Now, 19,000, right, 21,000. They used to use 21,000 starting in 1970 by the spec. And in 19, what did I say? 1995, they reduced it to 19,000, okay? And what they also did was they published at that 19,000 feet per minute, what RPM you should be running your engine at if it's a single blade to get that 19,000 feet per minute. And if you look, Okay, a 22 inch blade, 3298 RPM. All right, 21 inch blade, most common in the US, 3454. 
a 20 inch blade 3627. Now when you get down to 1918, we really don't run those a lot in the USA, so I really don't think it's a, a good point to even say it, but look at that RPM, 38 and 4,000. That would, would be what it would be to run a 19,000 feet per minute speed. Now this is Tecumseh, 1995, saying, you know what, I wanna be part of that American National Standard. I wanna comply with the American National Standard and the Outdoor Power Equipment Institute. I wanna comply, who knows if they had lawsuits or whatever, but just letting you know, mowers run at high speeds, over 200 miles an hour in some cases. And the reason is just that. It's the 19,000 feet per minute blade speed. Okay? Just wanted to tell you that, guys. Your mower goes that fast. So remember, if you're mowing with a single blade deck, or even multiple blade deck, and you start running over rocks and acorns and things like that, and there's little kids around and pets and stuff like that, that's what you're gonna hit them with. You're hitting them with a lot of lethal force. So, like I said, this is for entertainment purposes only. Please don't take any of this as gospel. I'm just showing you what I found. But that's the magic number that I see that Tecumseh uses, that Briggs uses, that the country uses. So, just letting you know, guys, 200 plus miles an hour, that's what the lawnmower is kicking out with that blade. So, please be careful. If you're gonna be mowing your grass, Make sure children and pets aren't outside and people aren't lounging around. Because if you hit something, you've seen how it breaks windows, glass, dents cars, things like that. Just be safe, guys, all right? All right, that's it for now. Stay tuned for my next video. I'm going to show you how I check all different kinds of RPMs on all different kinds of engines. All right, guys, that's it for now. We will talk to you soon.